Hey guys, what's up? It's Jared Cuber, and in this video we have another competition vlog. This one is very, very special though because the competition is taking place on a cruise ship. So this has never been done before, and my friend Steve, who you guys know from the vlogs, is one of the organizers, and Zach Garber is the delegate. So Steve told me about this competition when it was still in the very uh, like pre-planning phases, when it was still just an idea, and I was totally down from the very start. So when it actually got announced and everything was actually finalized and it was realized that it, this was actually going to happen, I was like, I am absolutely going to this. I feel like it's gonna be like a little part of cubing history, the first cruise ship competition, so I just kind of wanted to be part of it and uh, it ended up being during a time that I could you know, travel, so it worked out really well. So I'm just in my car right now, obviously, and I'm about to leave to drive to the airport to fly to Fort Lauderdale. Basically the plan is I'm gonna be flying into Fort Lauderdale tonight and then I'm gonna be staying in an Airbnb with Steve and Zach and some other people. And then tomorrow the cruise leaves and then on Friday is the competition. So today's Wednesday, so it's a four day cruise, so I'll be getting back on Monday. So I'm gonna be taking you guys along for the ride. Uh, it should be a whole whole lot of fun. I've never been on a cruise before, so I'm really excited. I don't really know what it's going to be like. We're going to the Bahamas. Never been there either. So overall, I'm just super pumped. So let's get going. Ladies and gentlemen, Spirit Airlines, welcome to Fort Lauderdale. Welcome to the Cubing at Sea vlog. <laughs> we out here with Steve, Matt, Zach. It doesn't even freaking work. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to turn on. <laughs> oh, our flights. I'll come through with a. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. It is now Thursday morning. Um, we are about to check out. We're basically just gonna go get breakfast and then head to the cruise ship pretty much, but we also have to make a quick little emergency run to Walmart because I cut my finger. I'm pretty sure it was just like the universe telling me that I'm never gonna win a competition because <laughs> we were looking at the psych sheet last night and realized that like I have a very good shot at winning most events because this is a 20 person cop. And then literally right after that, I go to get ready for bed and cut my finger on my razor. He's a smart, smart boy. <laughs> the current plan is to like super glue my finger closed because then I might be able to still use my thumb without a band-aid on it, but who knows. So I'm by myself in Walmart. I got band-aids looking for super glue. Thank you very much. Mission was successful. We are now just waiting for Zach to get back. What? Mission was successful. <laughs> well, it was. We are now on a new mission <laughs> to get food. What are you trying to do, Steve? Swallow. I imagine I'm a dog. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, I, I can't. Oh no. Got my Chipotle. Already started eating it because it's so good. I forgot to take a video of it. Yay! Let's go. <laughs> this is pretty sweet. All right, we are in our room. It is quite quaint, I would say. <laughs> we it's are going nice. to get to know each other very well. <laughs> would you like to put our Minecraft beds together, Steve? <laughs> Done. We're heading to, well, okay, but then after that, we're going to security briefing. Yeah. Yeah, so much fun. Well, safety briefing. Yes. Safety briefing. Anyway, okay. let me drive the boat. Let me drive the boat. Let me try to boat. The double chocolate one literally just looks like a pile of chocolate. Yup. Ooh, okay. Well, this is, uh, this is a party. It's got a nice view of the city. Yeah, look at this. So we got some mini golf going on up here. We're all like at the very top of the ship. And we got some also, some pretty great views. So we are currently checking out where we're going to be competing. So we're kind of scoping out a location. Basically the idea is just to kind of do it in the middle of this general seating area. Kind of a nice central location, but we're kind of just trying to scope out a good spot right now. So we found some cubers. How are you guys feeling? Good, pretty good. excited. People are coming around to get together. Yeah, it's starting to actually come together. Feeling very real now. You can actually see the cubes. <laughs> I, mean, I can kind of visualize, that's what people sitting down, I can actually visualize a competition happening. Yeah. Not just like in my mind picturing people. Like, yeah, exactly. Oh, cool. This is a station. Yeah, yeah. You want to say hi to the vlog? Hey. 
<laughs> the boat finally started moving, so we're gonna go outside and take a look. Are you excited? Yeah! <laughs> I'm excited. Ooh, look at the lighting though. It's very nice. <laughs> So we're on our way to dinner. We're having a little trouble finding the restaurant, but it's all good. Everything's been a little bit hard to find. We're just getting warmed up. You know what? Let me drive the boat. <laughs> <laughs> that was the perfect segue. This is a uh, quite a bougie restaurant, I would say. It's uh, pretty solid. Hopefully the food is as bougie as the atmosphere. It's very windy. Let's see what happens. Dinner was very oh, good, by the way. And uh, I don't know what's going on with my hair here. This is something else. Uh, but yeah, it's really windy and very dark. We are now back up at mini golf. Actually playing mini golf. Here we go. Another one arm putt. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's see. Come on. Come on. No. <laughs> All right, we are back inside now, about to hit up the arcade, which I'm very excited about. Here we go. Come on, Zach, you got it. Keep going, Mike. Keep going. Oh, it's play, play as many keys as you can before time runs out. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, we got ski ball. Let's hit it. I'm so bad at this. That was pretty awesome. 114? Bro, that's what's up. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. We just got back to our room and we found uh, a yeah. shrimp. Shrimp? We think it's a shrimp, probably. It looks dry. Shrimp <laughs> shrimp from the ocean? Oh my gosh. All right, so it is now Friday morning. I um, hope you guys enjoyed uh, that little vlog segment of yesterday. Uh, I don't think it'll end up being too long. I didn't really record all that much yesterday. Anyway, I'm gonna head to the competition area. So uh, we're gonna find them and uh, see what they've got going on over there. So here we go. We got Steve, we got Zach. These are the little competing, competing tables. I'm gonna move my junk. <laughs> and we've got this whole competition, which is very small, but basically everything here in the middle of, of this. This is pretty great. About to start my first event, one-handed. Should be a lot of fun. Pretty excited. It's fun. Yeah. How oh, is it? Just did my uh, first official average at a uh, you know, cruise ship. How was that for you, Steve? Have you you haven't? I haven't yet. gone yet. Yeah. What are your goals though for one year? Uh, sub thirty. Sub thirty. I did not get sub thirty, unfortunately. Here we are with Steve. Uh, this is kind of. I'm currently judging at the moment. What's going on? This is kind of our uh, little setup we got going on. Judge here, judge here, and kind of like opposite competitors like that. I'm gonna be doing four x four very soon. Hopefully, do okay. How have you been doing, Steve? 
Uh, I can do okay if I get my best solve on number five. Okay, well, hopefully so. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. The boat's been rocking a lot too. It's definitely like making us all like sway a little bit. <laughs> it's really weird. Players. Yeah. <laughs> So four four actually went really well. I'm, I'm very happy with my average. Unfortunately, I, I kind of wish that it was only one round because like I did really good and I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do as good in the second round in the finals, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Very, very nice logos that uh, Steve had printed. If I get a sub 10 average with this cube um, in this competition, I'm just ripping this Celeritas logo right off and just putting the, one of these bad boys on there. So I will forever remember of this cube getting my first sub 10 average. Or even if I just get a PR average or something, I'll do it. I've just been scrambling for 4x4, and uh, 4x4 is pretty much done, and 3x3 is about to start. So uh, I'm pretty excited. Here we go. just for that seven, honestly. Uh, that was a very, very, very bad average with a very, very, very good last solve. So I'm just eating lunch right now, and Steve just finished up that entry and realized that I actually got fourth in round one with a 14 average, so. Uh, which basically means like, as long as I don't do worse than that, I'll podium. So even though I didn't get a uh, PR average with this cube, I did get my PR single, uh, which was pretty significant, so I'm still going to be placing the logo on here. Goodbye, Soleritas logo. You have served this cube well, but you are no longer needed. <laughs> All right, there we go. That looks very, very nice. So about to do everyone's favorite event, Pyraminx. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Grayson for letting me borrow his pyramids because I totally forgot to borrow one, or to bring one, so appreciate that. Next up is Five Five, which I do care about quite a bit, and I hope to do very well. Me and, me and Zach average like about the same, so we're gonna be competing for bronze hopefully. So, so we're actually doing four x four finals, four five x five. So, I'm in the second group of four x four finals. We're splitting up into two groups, even though it's only eight people. But you gotta do, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You know. Oh, 
I was going too fast. So four by four was uh, pretty bad. It's funny because Garber was telling me, he's like, I, I need to ask a favor of you. He's like, I need you to choke like 10 seconds on uh, four by four finals so I can podium uh, because I had a 47 average, and he had a 57 average in the first round and I was in third, he was in fourth. And so um, he actually was right. I did choke a 10 second average because my average is 57 this round, but his average is even worse. So I'm still gonna podium. Talk about the, uh, the easiest war for a podium ever. Third place with a 57 18. Top five went very good actually. I don't know why the last half of the second of my last solve didn't record, which is annoying because that was the best solve, so, but oh well. Pretty sure that means I got second place, maybe third place. Um, we will see though, but I, I don't, I think uh, Steve was the only one who was faster than me that round, so. Now we just have three by three, I believe, and that's it, and besides unofficial events. So Zach. How do you feel about uh, getting your first podium? Oh my goodness, after listen, man. Competitions. I can't even express the level of excitement <laughs> I, I have. It's been a wild ride, man. 95 competitions later, I'm gonna be honest. That's pretty awesome. So, what, third place in 5 5 or third place? It was like 5 by 5. Nice. I want to calculate it. Really? I am extremely happy with that average. Wasn't PR, but I had a counting sub 10 that probably was first place. Let's go. Wait, I don't have to have the bench certificate. In third place, five by five. After 95 competitions of one wow. tears. Traveling, expenses, car break, everything. Third place for the time of unlisted, Zachary Lee Barber. And in second place of 5x5, for the time of 134.35, Jesse Hartman. Hey, our and in first place in 5x5 five five with an average of 1 minute 16.32 seconds, Stephen Gray. Uh, in third place in 4x4 four four with an average of 57.18 seconds, Jesse Hartman. In second place in 4x4 four four with an average of 49.12 seconds, Grayson Kerr. And winning 4x4 four four with an average of 39.95 seconds, Stephen Gray. And on to our main event. In third place in 3x3 three three with an average of 11.74 seconds, Grayson Kerr. In second place in 3x3 three three with an average of 11.68 seconds, Stephen Gray. Winning Cubing at Sea 2020 with an average of 10.65 seconds, Jesse Hartney. JR Cuber. So that pretty much does it for the competition, except for unofficial events. We're also doing kill minks and mirror blocks unofficial. I'm just super excited that I actually won a competition. I'm very happy about it. <laughs> this man is 
<laughs> so yeah, I'm just like, that's never gonna happen again. So I'm just enjoying it. I'm like so certain it's not gonna happen. I don't know, maybe it will, but I'm just like so confident. I'm like, yeah, this will never happen again. <laughs> we actually ended on time too, which is awesome. Like we actually got through everything pretty much on time. We were very hardly ever behind. So it ended up, the competition actually ended up running extremely smoothly. So which was uh, kind of a surprise for all of us, honestly. We were expecting to have run into more issues, but we really didn't. But anyway, now time for unofficial stuff. All right, kill makes time. No judge, we're just self-judging ourselves. It's pretty fun. Okay. Makes you want an iPhone 11. <laughs> <laughs> now the wide angle is nice. All right, 123. So we got a 125 mean in Kilomix. Never done a time filming solves before. Mirror block should be fun. I kind of want to do one solve blindfolded, like just just for the memes, basically. Time for mirror blocks. Should I do a blind solve? Number three. Okay. Number three. All right, I'm doing a blind solve for number three. But until then, let's go. I'm so upset. My camera stopped recording like halfway through the solve again. I don't know why this is happening. I got a 106. One more and then the blind one. If, the, if that one like st half, stops recording halfway through the blind one, I'm gonna be so upset. Solve two, let's go. Alright, hopefully my camera actually stays recording. Thank you, Zach, for the blindfold. I'm just gonna I'm gonna start with it on. <laughs> okay. 13672. Good luck. <laughs> Let's go. 612. <laughs> oh man. That was fun. So that was a lot of fun. Um, we were just calculating our averages. I got a 612 on that third one. And I still almost beat Steve, even with the 612 included in the mean. So I'm pretty happy about that. What'd you get? I got, for an average, I got three minutes, 31.03 seconds. That's what's up. That's awesome. So uh, that was a lot of fun. All right, we out here in the hot tub just chilling after a long day of competing and then chilling after competing and now doing more chilling. That pretty much does it for today's vlog. I will be vlogging the rest of the cruise though. I don't know how much though, because I kind of want to enjoy it, you know. All right, it is Saturday morning, which means it is the first day on beach, which I'm super excited about. We're obviously still on the boat right now. We're basically going to just try and spend pretty much all day on the beach. We're in the Bahamas, you know? Obviously, what else are you gonna do, right? All right, so we out here on the ninth deck. I got my nice, uh, hearty breakfast of order. So I'm very excited to consume this. We have some very blue water chilling right here. So apparently, uh, in order to get off the boat, you have to get these cards that like give you a group number so you like have a group that you're assigned to leave the boat, right? What they don't tell you though, is that the cards are like limited. Like there's a very limited amount of them. And so if you don't get there at like 7.30, 8 a.m. to get a card, you're just kind of out of luck. And you have to wait till like 11 before you can get off. And the thing is like the cruise leaves again at like 3.15. We didn't know that, so none of us got cards. So now we have to wait till like 11 basically to get off the boat. Which is in like an hour. One hour later. All right, we going out. It's so nice. How you feeling, Steve? Uh, fresh air. Let me try to move. Let me try to move. This is quite the view. We got the cruise ship back there. 
We out here with the whole squad. Hot dogs or legs, you decide. Are you what? <laughs> I don't know. Good. You were like, oh, I won't know the way. Yeah, twist the corner. Alright, we gotta do one more. So it's about 2.45 and uh, we are just about getting ready to head out. You guys enjoyed it? Yeah, I didn't know you could dig a hole in the sand to get the water. Yeah, I can't believe they didn't know that. But I mean, that's just, I guess that's just from me growing up in Florida. <laughs> oh my god. I'm your dad now. Your dad now. <laughs> yeah, hopefully they attack you. Dad now. All right, so we are back on the boat now. We all have, like showered and got ready again and kind of just uh, refreshed after being on the beach for a while. And we are now heading to sports trivia, which I am only going to watch, not participate in, because I never watch sports, stop? not even the Super Bowl. So we out here playing cornhole. Pretty fun. More fun than sports trivia for me, at least. I had not an inkling of an idea of an answer for any of the questions, so which was not surprising at all. We're just out here chilling, vibing with the sun. The sun is vibing with us. the line from Nats? The line from Nats? Like my sun. Oh, my sun is setting. My sun is setting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, DG, for the inspiration. Day four. All right, we out here. It is Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. <laughs> Yes. That also took me a second. We are in Nassau right now, not in the Sioux. Maybe it's in the Sioux. We don't know. Yeah, we do know. We actually, we actually do know. Here we are. So an interesting thing I'm noticing, all the buildings here are like very light pastel colors. Light blue, light pink, like light yellow. It's also very hot and it's the middle of winter, so I think it's solidified that I will never live in Florida again. <laughs> I would just like burst into flames during the summer. This is the place you're trying to show us, Steve. So right now we're heading towards the downtown area. All right, relief has come in the form of a finally open restaurant. Yes. We're gonna try and do a fact and crawl. I don't have anything to like. I guess you put on like a glass. All right, so in Team Factory, everyone's doing white cross except for Zach. Let's go for it. Three, two, one, go. So we just finished our food. I got my $8 bottle of water. Probably end up going to the beach pretty soon. How are you feeling, Steve? Pretty refreshed after that meal. It was good food. So we out here on the beach. We're just gonna record some solves. We got about two hours or so until the boat leaves again, but it is super, super nice out here. Look at that very, very blue water. Heading out from the beach now. I uh, had a great time. It was a lot of fun. Oh, I'm good. How did you guys enjoy your beach experience? It was pretty beachy. It was pretty beachy. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Lots of food. Lots of great water at the time. <laughs> no, come back. We're back here at the main entrance area. And we're, I was wondering where all of like the touristy area was, you know? The reason why is because it's all over there. Steve wanted to go to the staircase, so we went that way. We were walking through the town and we were like, there's like no activity, there's like no people, everything's just dead. And I was like wondering, he's like, where the heck is everyone? And then of course, as we're coming back, we see it all. It's like the best view of all the ships. This is really cool. Ours is right there. And we're off again. 
I don't know if you can really see it, but we're moving. <laughs> we moving. So we're out here on the 10th deck. We're just about to take some pictures. We're redoing our podium picture for 5x5 five five because the first one kind of got messed up. So, and Zach the wants- podium because the picture has to be perfect. Exactly. So we're out here at dinner again with everyone. Our last dinner all together. It's the last night. It's very sad, but we're going to make the most of it. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so it's Monday morning. It is almost 8.30. We have to be out of here by 8.30, which means this trip is just about come to an end. How'd you feel about this trip though, Steve? It was good. It was a great way to meet more people in the community, you know? And yeah. just take a load off work. It's true. It was a very relaxing and nice trip outside of the competition, but the competition itself was also very fun. So uh, all in all, this was a very, very good idea and a successful trip. So uh, it's very rare that I ever actually end a vlog properly, but that's about it. So thanks for watching.